so we are living, as it were, on many, many levels of rhythm. This is the nature of change. If you resist it, you have dukkha, you have frustration and suffering. But on the other hand, if you understand change, you don't cling to it, and you let it flow, then it's no problem, it becomes positively beautiful. Which is why, in poetry, the theme of the evanescence of the world is beautiful. It's always the image of change that really makes the poet. Again, when you watch wild geese suddenly seen and then lost in the clouds. be the other side and it evokes something in your imagination but you don't attempt to define it to pin it down
so in the same way, the coming and going of things in the world is marvelous. They go. Where do they go?